I'm Linda, Linda Parker, and I was the administrator for Sing for Pleasure many years ago. Um, and over the years, as I was increasingly involved with the organisation, I became CEO. And anyway, now I'm a trustee. <laughs> Sing for Pleasure was founded as part of the standing conference for amateur music who were supporting um, music initiatives, let's call it that. And um, some English people came back from camps in France uh, where Acker Joie was operating, were very enthused by Marcel and wanted to start an English version. And I uh, ran the courses, um, researched the courses, um, ran the newsletters, wrote the newsletters, drew the pictures, the whole thing. It was all very hand to mouth, really, and with very little technology, because it's a long time ago. I can give you a particular memory, which I think a lot of people now won't have, because it is a long time ago. And that was one of the summer schools that we ran at Eason Hall School. It's a residential school in Leicestershire, just a state school. Um, but it was very modern and it was built uh, round a sort of a horseshoe shape with a swimming pool um, and dormitories upstairs um, at a level of comfort that you simply wouldn't uh, countenance today, uh, all separated by curtains. And first thing in the morning, uh, our director then, James Wilde, would walk round the corridors carrying the recording of the previous night's chor choral session to try and wake people up. So that was, that, was one of the, that was one of the memories there at Eason Hall. And I, as secretary, had a little office which overlooked on the ground floor, overlooked the swimming pool. But when you sat there, you could hear the music from all the classrooms round on the ground floor. And that was just a wonderful experience to hear all the different bits of music, the singing coming through to you uh, in all its different little fragments. And that was, that was a lovely memory. And I think, in essence, the courses were, were, were basically the same. It's extraordinary, really, how the whole sort of um, philosophy of it has carried through. You know. And I think the future looks bright, I, I really do, with so many people um, involved and enthusiastic and being trained, our conductors always being trained up. And sing, one of Sing for Pleasure's greatest strengths is the quality of its conductor training courses. There's, there's no doubt about that. It, I, I don't think I've seen their parallel roundabout.